Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm John Overall. And I'm Angelique Lazardi. What was once considered a nice, quiet neighborhood has turned into a haven for homeless people. The crime rate has also skyrocketed, and residents right now are up in arms. New Sport Tucson's Digging Deeper team checked it out. Lupita Murillo has more now on how widespread that problem is. Residents in the Drexel Heights neighborhood say their neighborhood is dangerous and they are tired of confronting homeless people at all hours. Cody Reasons lives in the neighborhood with his mother and two children. He says he's witnessed fights among the homeless people. One in particular was when a man was beating another man with a two by four. Yeah, I stopped that fight. The guy was going to kill him. Then there are needles. There's syringes everywhere. I'm scared to walk out there in boots or tennis shoes. I mean, they're that bad even worse. We found a loaded pistol right here on the ground. In each case, the Pima County Sheriff's Department was called and they responded. We've had over 900 arrests in Beat 2, which is just in 2019. The crime map shows in a two week period, there were nearly 40 calls for service. Deputies responded to thefts, drugs, disorder, property crime, assault, and even an armed robbery at a convenience store. I don't like what's going on here. I don't want my kids around it. I don't want what's around here around my kids. Earlier in the day, Reasons tells News 4 Tucson he saw seven homeless people walking in the alley behind his house. He called the sheriff's department. Like point in which area they walk to. About an hour goes by, he comes back, he goes, well, we just arrested three people for warrants and, and whatever else. This gentleman is a huge help to us. He really is, and we're very thankful for him to be able to call us with the problems. So clearly there's issues in the area, an area that is in District 5, represented by Supervisor and Board Chairman Richard Elias. Well, I think that's a real problem for us. Um, there's more increasingly uh, more homeless in the area. And so that adds to those type of calls. Also at issue, overgrowth of weeds in the alleyway. Reason says he got a letter from the county saying their easement is overgrown and polluted with trash. We have to maintain a clearance, a six foot or whatever, mm -hmm. because of utility and fire department yeah, access. The Reasons, who says okay, he's disabled, great. has been doing his part and is using the branches from the trees he cuts down as a barrier to try and keep the homeless people out from areas that they frequent. However, I mean, there's darn near an acre of county back here. They won't even touch it. You can't get a truck to it. But yet the county wants me to clean my side the fence. When are they going to enforce their side? Soon, says board chairman Richard Elias. This time of year, things do grow up and get to be a mess. Uh, that's no excuse either. Uh, but I think those confluence of those issues created us a problem there. And we're going out there to make sure we fix it and make it right. As for the homeless issues. The fact is, is that there's been a lot of homeless camps all up and down the Santa Cruz River all along. So that includes all the South Side. And what about the crime? You know, I'm going to contact the Sheriff's Department and talk about increased patrols and not just responding to calls, but patrolling the area more carefully to make sure we can uh, try and prevent these problems from happening. Lieutenant Lappin says it will take a community effort to combat the issues, such as a neighborhood watch program. Our auxiliary volunteers go out and they do an excellent job of um, organizing that, that neighborhood watch program, and that can definitely help him as well. Supervisor Elias adds he's thankful for residents like Cody Reasons, who are the eyes and ears for law enforcement. But he says the county also needs to pay attention and look at the systemic problems that are happening. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.